Hey everyone, I'm trying to get it set up so I can see the picture on my computer. And I'm hoping it's not vertical with the dark on the side. I'm hoping it's full screen. I don't know if I got it done or not. Let's see. I had it connected, shared on my computer a minute ago. My chat I want to see comments. If you're here, please. Oh, I don't remember the screen key. Oh. Why it was coming up on my computer now it's not. And I can't see comments. Okay, give me a second, give me a second. Can you hear me good? Shake out there. The computer. Zero one eight seven three eight. Okay. Hang on one second. Okay. Nope. Oh, I think I got it. I think I got it. I guess next to my computer, it rings. Okay, echo. friends. One person was waiting and left. So I'm going to see who I can get to come visit with me while I sew this bag. I don't know why it's not pulling up my iPhone. Let's view my phone. I think my connection's bad. Say hello if you're here, please. Well, it says I'm online. Can y'all hear me? It says I'm live. Ugh. I'm going to get better at this. Y'all give me a chance here. I don't 
don't see the chat anywhere. Say hello to me so I can see if the chat's working. Hey, Gail. Thank you. Okay, I'm just going to have to read it off my phone because I can't get my computer to work. Okay, so I'm just doing some sewing. Um, I'm making the pelican tote and I've already cut it out um, and pasted everything together. Let me show you what I've got. Can you hear me good, Gail? Oh, good. Okay. Thank you. I've got two people. So I've already done my straps for the um, Pelican Tote. Y'all have seen it probably a thousand times. It's a free pattern by Backstock Designs. And what I did is instead of doing one whole foam, I did separate foams. This is, you're supposed to sew these together and then put the foam on, but I did separate. I did this on another tote for someone I, um, that bought it from me, and it turned out to me much better than doing all the foam. And when you have a domestic machine, it helps because it keeps, uh, you keep the foam out of the seam allowance. So what I did is I cut a half inch around, and maybe a little bit more of the foam, pasted it, or not pasted it, but steam pressed it on, and then um, did my woven fuse too over it. So that's what I did. These are the sides. That's the back. And this is the front. So what I've done, I won't go through all the pieces. I'll just go through as we, as we go. And I got to change my thread because I was sewing something else. But this is from, um, Sandra at the sewing room, the Garner sewing room. And this was what this was waterproof canvas, but I've ordered the vinyl too. So I can't wait to get the vinyl and more of the waterproof canvas in. So I'm loving this. So okay. <laughs> no checking out. The key is keep the foam out of your seam allowance. And if you have to do more than a half an inch, do more than a half an inch and then just do the woven fuse over it to help hold it in since you're doing, it's not going to be in the seams and you can do it. It was really simple. So let me show you what I've done. I did the handles. Now you know how I do handles, right? So I did the handles and now I'm doing the zipper. So what I did is this is the bottom part of the front zipper and I just um, basted the top zipper on, I mean the zipper on top face down with the zipper to the left. So that's what I've done so far. And now I'm gonna put the back on, or the pocket on, and I'm using, using waterproof canvas. I'm gonna to have to look at the pattern because my brain can't remember it all. So we're gonna put the uh, pocket right side down on top of what we've already sewn. I have been working with my silhouette too. I did a, um, a sign, well a sign, I did, we did plates for my small group and I found these real pretty plates. They were white with red on the outline, on the outer edge from Dollar Tree. So I ordered those online because they didn't have them in the store. And then I took um, my silhouette and, and cut out Merry Christmas and we I uh, used Oracle Vinyl 651 and put that in the center of the plate. And they're real pretty. I was going to bring one up to show you, but I didn't. And that does not seem even. Kind of crooked. Okay, let me change my thread. I have had a week, let me tell you. We went uh, with a... Another small group. I'm in three small groups. Don't ask me why. I lead two, and then my husband and I are in another couple small groups. So, our couple small group ladies 
went on a Christmas tour in a small town, Madison, Georgia. Beautiful old homes. And uh, there was a lot of walking. Whoops, let's see. I think I was gonna use this. I was waiting for thread to get in, but it didn't get in, so I'm just gonna use this. This is embroidery thread, but um, the glide is like embroidery thread, and I use it on my purses, so I'm gonna use it now. So we went on this Christmas tour on Saturday and we walked a lot and my leg had been hurting me, but it really hurt me. It's about an hour drive from where I am and it really hurt me walking up and down. We did, let me just say, we did over five miles, over 13,000 steps and over 15 sets of stairs. And those older homes are very steep but they were beautifully redecorated and redone. And uh, two of them were just gorgeous. One of them, these guys traveled the world and got furniture and decorations. Like this one guy had a fireplace out back in the shape of Eiffel Tower that one, a famous designer, I don't know who she was, a decorator designer, gave him for a wedding present from Paris. <laughs> I said, I want to know your friends. So anyways, I did all that walking and about killed my leg. I think what happened is I pulled a muscle. I started that exercise stuff. <laughs> That's why I exercise so bad for you. Anyways, I think I pulled a muscle when I exercised. And then when I walked and up and down the hills where we were, just made it worse. And so... I'm having to wear these support stocking things that um, I had to wear when I had surgery. Who else is here? I can't see. Three people. Say hello if you're new. Let's see, what color am I using? So anyways, I've been using that, but the same day, Saturday night, my daughter went to her office Christmas party and um, she rode with a friend to the party because it's about an hour away from where they were. And she parked her car at this friend's co-worker's apartment complex and somebody vandalized her car and her whole back window shattered. So then they get back from the party because um, it's about an hour away, about midnight, and she calls me to come get not get her but let come and let her follow me home because she was afraid to drive with the shattered window it had not fallen through yet um but it was completely shattered and so at 12 15 at night in the morning actually i um rode to where she was and she was like 30 minutes from me so i get there and she follows me home and it never fell through when we got home but she slammed her door and it went and it all went through. Not all of it, but still some that hadn't gone through yet. So anyways, after all of that, didn't get home till after one in the morning. And with my leg, it's just been a mess. It's just been a mess. So I had to drive her to her friend's house, her coworker's house today to ride with her to work. And then tomorrow we're putting her car in the shop to get her window fixed. That's my story these days. Okay, so this was the bottom part of the front pocket. I basted the zipper on and now we're putting the actual pocket on and you put it face down. And I usually do about a quarter inch. I don't know what the pattern calls for, but that's what I do. I need my zipper full. And then move it back. This one house, this guy was telling us, he got these lamps, and in these lamps, there was like a little window, and I think he said Egypt, either Italy or e Egypt, and the 
there was bones in there, the femur bone or the um, one of the arm bones. I don't know what the name of the arm bone is, but um, they put part of the bone in the lamp and saved it. And the lamp was in the shape of a hand. I'm like, that's kind of creepy. Kind of creepy to me. Hey friends, who else is here? I am sewing the, um, what am I sewing? The Pelican Tote by Bagstock. It's a free pattern. And so now we're gonna take this. So we have this, like this. And you're just gonna fold it up like this. Let me double check myself. I'm going to turn it over. I'm going to turn it over. So you turn it over first, and then we're going to top stitch. So y'all bear with me with my first slide. I'm going to make lots of mistakes trying to sew and talk and keep up with everybody. And on my Juki, I love uh, using the um, zipper hinged foot is what it's called, and it's real thin. On some vinyl, I can't use it, but on most vinyl, I can. Some vinyl, I have to change to my Teflon foot. So on my Juki, I'm just turning it to a three and a half, top stitch. If I go to a four, it looks too loose. It doesn't look good to me, so I usually do a three and a half. Sometimes I do a four, but see, even this, it looks kind of crooked and loose to me. So there we have that. And now we're going to fold it up this way and take it back up to the zipper. And match the center. The ends really. And I always use lots of clips. And this pattern was pretty easy to read. You know me, I always had trouble reading patterns. Let me see. I'm trying to see comments here. Okay, Gail, you have no excuse now. You gotta start it. It's pretty easy on certain things. The key is just keeping the foam out of your seam allowance. I'm going to turn it back to a um, two and a half on my machine and do a quarter inch seam allowance. You know what? I'm not even giving you a view. You're looking at me. <laughs> Okay, let's move you down. Hello. Not helping you one bit, am I, Gail? Let me see, I'm gonna move you around just a minute. See if that's better. Is that better? I totally messed you up now. So I'm just finishing in the pocket. So this is the bottom part, front pocket. So if you open it up, you see that. Oops, shouldn't have done that, but that's okay. It's not coming off but I like it when I'm sewing it together for this end to be together. So next, I'm gonna put the top part on. This is the front of the bag. And we take our top part. And I think I've marked, I've already marked the centers. And I have a chalk line where I mark the center here. And we're just gonna attach that face down on the right side, so right sides together. And you really could have waited to sew your zipper and sewn it all together, but I like going ahead and do it just to keep it together, easier to keep together. Let 
I'm gonna move this over just a tad because I like it centered, matching my sides here. And Gail, what kind of machine do you have? Hey friends, if you just joined us, I'm sewing the Pelican Tote. It's a free pattern by Bagstock Designs. Let me see if I can see. I can't see comments. So now I'm stitching the top on with regular seam allowance, okay? This is not really an instructional video. This is just sewing. But I'll tell you as I'm going along the stuff I'm doing. It's getting in the way. Let's see, hopefully I won't mess this up too much going live. It's like walking and chewing bubble gum at the same time. Okay, so there's our center. Now we are going to sew top stitch and sew down just to close up the um, pocket. So I'm just feeling where it starts. Actually, I'm gonna, I am going to put some clips on it just so it doesn't move. Hey friends, say hello, whoever's joined us. So I'm going to start here, go across, top stitch first. I'm going to put it at three and a half on my machine. I'm just top stitching. And then I'm going to Kneel down, pivot, and just sew everything together closed. Make sure you're catching the side of your pocket. Actually, I could have started on the other side. So now I'm just going to go up this side. Feel where the pocket starts and just baste it together. trim. Okay, I gotta move y'all closer so I can see the, I have to look close. Let me turn this down and I can see the, so you have a Singer patchwork. I have a Singer, it's a 99K. So what year is a patchwork? Um, I got a Singer 99K with the table and everything for like $100, $100? Yeah, I think she won $150. And I offered $100. And on that little machine, that little Singer 99K, I sewed a, a backpack full of vinyl. Okay, so there's our front. We got our pocket. It's all sewn. Make sure you've caught it all. And now, moving on to the next thing. We're gonna add our sides. So those of you that just joined us, what I said in the beginning is, normally you would sew these sides on both sides, and then you put your one piece of foam on. I didn't do that. On the last one I did, I did separate foam on each piece and it really worked out good. And I have kept my foam out of the seam allowance by a half an inch and I put Woven Fuse 2 over it. 
So now we're attaching our sides. I'm hoping this will work out too. <laughs> it worked out beautifully last time. My next purse, which I've been wanting to do, but afraid to do because I didn't think my machine could handle it. Cause just, this is just a semi-industrial, um, which it does better than my, my HD 3000. So it's a lot better stuff than my HD, but it's still nor the dark doctor bag by um, Swoon. I've been wanting to do it forever, but those curves, if you look at it, I've just been so afraid of that because you sew it together on the um, inner side and then on the outer side, you do a, a, a top stitch, which makes it sink on the inside, kind of, you know, goes in a little bit on the outside. And I know my machine couldn't handle all that. So I've come up with a plan. And so I'm gonna do that next. Whoops, there went my little sticky thing that holds my scissors. Okay, let me see my seam allowance here. Okay. Turn it back to two and a half. I have to look up a patchwork singer because I don't think I've seen one. Patchwork, let's see, has the all, has all the quilting supplies and the extension table. So it's a newer version then of the singer. Is that right, Vic Gale is a newer version of the singer? See on this, I would do a little more than a half an inch because I'm hitting foam right now. So on your domestic, our domestic should have do a little more on the thumb, cut out a little more than half an inch. I think I'm dropping my clips. Okay, so now we're gonna top stitch. Oh, uh, this vinyl is from My Punk Bordery. It's the, uh, what is it, antique rust color. I ordered some um, thread from Waywack that's gonna match this better, but hopefully it'll match it better. So now I'm just gonna top stitch. I'm gonna see if my, if I have to change it to my Teflon foot, but I'm gonna see if I can do it without it first. I'm gonna have to lighten this up a little. Lighten my pressure, my pressure foot. Nope, still not going. Okay, I'm gonna change it to my Teflon foot. I found and ordered a skinny Teflon foot. I can find it here. But it's so close. See my skinny Teflon foot? It's so close to the needle. So far it hasn't hit it, but to me, it's kind of scary, but I'm gonna give it a shot. It's easier for me to follow the guidelines of um, the seam allowance. Okay, let me get my needle up here. Make sure I have it all together because it's not lining up with my needle. Now see, now it looks centered. Hmm. I guess it was person error. Well, it's pretty close. It's pretty close to the back corner. Now, another thing I don't like about it is having to push it through that hole instead of having an opening. Okay, now let's see if it'll work again. Yeah, 
that much better. If I go fast, my uh, stitch length ends up being real tiny. I don't know why. Okay, that looks pretty good. Trim my threads. So I woke up at two o'clock this morning, a little after two, and I got on Amazon and ordered the rest of my Christmas gifts, except for my husband's. And I'm gonna do the other side. So I have finished all my Christmas shopping, except for my husband. Actually, now that I think about it, he needs to pick out, I've done his nephew, our nephews on his side, and I haven't done his parents or his brother and his wife. I've done his brother's kids, but I haven't done them or his sister. I'm going to let him do that. And then I'm going to order something for my parents, which are very hard to buy for. back to two and a half. Definitely do your um, foam out of your seam allowance more because this is hard to push through for domestic machines. top stitch. I push the um, seam allowance towards the flap. Turn it back to a three and a half. Wow, I got a total of four people. Okay, somebody else is on here besides Gail. Y'all say hello. Is it letting you comment? My first live sewing live. Scary. I'm not a pink person as far as purses. I don't really have. Uh, well, I have a couple of outfits that go with pink. But I just love this fabric, this print. I just love this. So there you go. That's pretty. So there's the front end. And don't worry about if these ends don't match up because you can trim them. So I'm not worried about that. Okay, so now that's the front. I now tell you to attach the foam, which I've already done. And what makes it easier too, um, oh, you know what I'm gonna do? I'm gonna trim, this is another key. Trim the bottom, just the seam allowance by the bottom. So it makes it easier when you're sewing it together at the bottom, it's not so thick. It helps out our little machines and I will sweep it up later. Okay, so there's the front. So pretty, so pretty, love it, just love it. So now we're gonna do the zipper pocket. Let me find the zipper pocket. Interior zipper pocket. And I need a lining. I've had this cut out since before Thanksgiving, but um, you know, with all that going on, I couldn't get it done. So now it's all wrinkled again. So 
going to give it a little press. I get my iron working. So these little irons that I was getting at Walmart, and they would break, you know, three months, four months later. So I bought a more expensive one on Amazon, and it ended up dying on me. So I think they're pretty much all the same. I hadn't turned my iron on, so it's taking a minute to warm up. Okay. Hey, Carmen. I have to get real close to look. Let me see. I can move you where I can see you. Well, Carmen, I use... Um, it's either going to be foam or Decaville light for me, for the structure. The bottom part, I usually use Decaville heavy and woven fuse two. So I'll put foam and woven fuse two over it. And then Decaville light, I'll put that out of the seam allowance and put woven fuse in the seam allowance over the whole thing. Just like I did like this piece. So the foam is out of my seam allowance, but I put woven fuse two over it. To hold the foam in even though it's um stuck to it fused to it i still wanted to give it extra hold in there but i either use decaville light or foam that's the two i use i used to use um fleece but i don't like that it wrinkles and i just don't like it okay so y'all know how to do a zipper right i'm going to switch my foot back to my regular foot. I love this machine, Carmen. It was such a blessing. My husband bought it for me for my 60th birthday a couple years ago. And I was very excited. And I got, Carmen, I got a, um, I did have a regular, let me see, Teflon foot but I like the skinny. Oops, that's not showing anything. The skinny, and just like the um, hinge foot. Do you have the zipper hinge foot? That to me has been a lifesaver. The zipper hinge foot. You don't have to change to a zipper foot. You just keep that on there. Okay. Make sure I got it on there. I've got this marked. And so, let's see. Let me read the instructions here a minute. Just double checking the comments. I tried to pull it up on my computer. I downloaded this app so you could see your comments on one side, and it's just not working for me. I think my internet's just not strong enough to, to do it, which I'm very upset with. My youngest keeps saying, we need to get more internet. But in my area, we're on a lake, and the, the Wi-Fi is just terrible. So I mean, it doesn't matter which, uh, if you do AT&T or whatever, it's not going to matter because it's just going to be terrible. Okay, I'm going to get out of it one more time. Exit program. I'm trying to pull it up again. Can y'all hear me good? I know my voice doesn't carry and I'm not wearing my mic. Okay, so we're gonna flip our lining panel to the wrong side and draw our square. Oh, it wants me to update the screen version. Okay, so. I'm going to do, I think, an agent zipper. What did I cut? I always do a number five zipper. I never do a number three when I'm sewing back.
five. And I always do a half inch opening as three eighths or whatever, but I always do a half inch. So that's for the top, that's for the bottom. I haven't put my zipper pull on yet. I have the, um, I don't know if you can see it, let me move you a minute. On the edge of my table here, I have that, what's it? It's really a towel holder, kitchen towel holder I got from Amazon. I know a lot of people can do it by hand, doing it like that, I've tried. Even with this, I have to keep trying sometimes. Oh, look at there, first time it's even. But that's my zipper, whatever you call it. Zipper uh, tab attachment thingy. Okay, so I'm going to do, let me get my other ruler. I think I'm doing an eight in a zipper. I can't remember. Yeah. Okay, so we're gonna do that. Find the center. And I'm gonna use a friction pin. Oh, thanks, Gail. I'm glad y'all can hear me. Good, okay. My voice, my husband always tells me, your voice, you're always mumbling. I'm like, I don't mumble. It's just my voice didn't carry. Just the way it is. Okay, so I'm going to draw my line. Where's my center? I get my friction pins at Walmart. I used to order them online, but uh, they're just, they're cheaper at Walmart. I'll usually get a three pack. Cause these things go out pretty easy to me. Do y'all have that same issue where they run out of ink very easily? Okay. Let me make sure I did that right. That looks right. And now this is a half inch. This is just my own thing. I don't know what the pattern calls for. I just like doing half inch. And then I draw a center line and do my little triangles. I was making, I cut out, I've cut out three, but I made two of the Toby Stylet um, Zaya bags, which I like the bags, but man, whew, it's a workout with the Toby Stylet not to where I could do it and not use so much glue. So what I'm gonna do is cut my opening. Make sure I'm getting things in order. Oh, so now i this side. I need to do a certain amount down. I get on on live out. Remember how to do anything. I'm just gonna make a just a line where I line up my pocket. I want one of my pockets. I make my own pattern for pocket. And I'm going to line up the centers. So we had to call our insurance. I don't know, Carmen, you were on when I was telling about my daughter's car got vandalized at this friend's or co worker's apartment complex, and they shattered the back, whole back end of her window. And so now tomorrow I have to take it to Safe Flight. And Safe Flight is supposed to be same day service, which they said they'll have it done by the end of the day. But also they advertise they'll come to you, but not once have we, have we, um, have they come to us? Cause this happened, my um, son's front window cracked, not shattered, but just cracked like from pebbles from a dump truck. And 
so we took it there to get it fixed. And it took us a couple of days because when they shipped his window in, it was cracked. And then the, the replacement window was cracked. And I don't know if that's going to reach. That's not going to reach. What did I do last time? Just going to turn it over. Hopefully keep it. You know, I better put a little tape. Just because it's me, I better put a little tape. I get my, this tape, this quarter inch tape from Dollar Tree. I'm just gonna put some here. Is that where I wanna put it? I'm gonna put it here. Just to keep it in place until I can sew it. The other tape I use is, um, what is it? It is Wash Away from Clover, and it's a half inch. And those are basically the two I use. Of course, it's not Dollar Tree anymore, it's a dollar twenty-five, and that's what they should put on the sign, a dollar twenty-five. So we're gonna put this face down, and we line it up again. Oh, you know what? I need to change my needle. Because I was sewing fabric and I forgot and I changed my needle. Let me change my needle. I like using a nonstick needle, use a 9014 or a jean needle. Is when I'm sewing bags. So let me switch out my needle. Hopefully I can get this done before I have to leave to get my daughter. And before I bore y'all to death. <laughs> Let's see. To me, if you don't want an industrial, but you want to sew bags, this, this Juki is worth, uh, worth Paying, I think it was a thousand dollars worth paying the money for if you got an extra thousand laying around. Oops. But I have not regretted this one bit. Now the the automatic threader never works, and I just don't fight with it. I either look and put it through there, or I just get one of my cheap needle threader things. You get a ton of them from Amazon in a package. And I just do that instead of fight with it. That's the only thing. I really don't complain about it because it's just not that big a deal to me. I mean, it'd be nice if it threaded it and it worked. Also it depends on your needle, which needle you're using. If it works, it, but um, it just never works for me, so. Just not going to deal with it. Just use the simple stuff and do it. Okay, so now we're going to sew around our rectangle. So here my thread comes out. Let's see if I can get it through without taking five minutes. <laughs> So our rectangle. Turn it back to a 2.5 by my foot pedal. I don't know if you were on Carmen when I was telling Gail about these homes. We went on a Christmas house tour in this small town in Madison, Georgia, and they had these huge old antebellum homes. And these people have redone them. Some of them the city has bought and kept the original, uh, some of the original furniture and stuff and the ceilings. And um, it's just beautiful. This one, they had a couple of the old ones. One was um, a smaller cottage and 
the owner of that cottage, her parents were slaves and they had her furniture in there and they even had some of her quilts that she had made by hand. And one of them was on the bed. It was amazing, just amazing. I watched a YouTube video one time to teach myself to, to hand quilt, you know. That is not easy. You really have to build up your calluses. Do any of y'all hand quilt? I love too about this Juki is the thread cutters. I got option on my foot, option on the on the machine, and the knee lift. I've always wanted knee lift. Makes it easier to me. What did I do with my there it is? So now I'm gonna cut it open. So we did a lot of walking which is good, but my leg, I tore my MCL in my right knee um, probably about 15 years ago. And ever since then, well, we lived in Florida at the time. And so Florida's flat. And so it didn't bother me as much, but when we moved to Georgia and all these hills, and that Georgia has a lot of parks and the parks are not all flat. I don't think any of them are flat, really. Maybe one of them. But where we lived at the time, the park was over, it's like two and a half miles, I think it was. And it was up and down, up and down. And that just did a number on my knee. And when I had my knee surgery, the doctor said I was gonna have to wear a brace the rest of my life anytime I stood up, like to do dishes or stood for long periods of time. And when I was in Florida, I didn't have to. And I still didn't up here until I um, was, I was exercising, I was doing the parks uh, three times a week and then I was doing the treadmill for an hour. And that, I developed Achilles tendonitis. I mean, if it's not one thing, it's another as the older you get. <laughs> I'm telling you, I'm like, mercy. If I get this cut here. So I developed Achilles tendonitis, suffered with that for three years and finally decided to go to a podiatrist and she made me wear Crocs, those ugly, well, I think they're ugly, the kids now, my youngest think they're great, but um, I do have Croc sandals I like, but not the Croc, whatever you call them, the one, the popular one that everybody wears. And told me some exercises to do. And so I did that and she gave me, did she, I think she put me on steroids for a week and that worked, man. I haven't had a problem with my Achilles, but I still have problems with my knee. And then, y'all, this is my life. I fell up the stairs. On the outside, we have stairs going down to the backyard, down to the lake. And I tripped and fell up them and busted my knee. I've done it a couple of times. I'm telling you, I'm dangerous. I'm dangerous to myself. And um, ever since then, I have this bump on my leg and anytime I exercise, it gets swollen and that causes my knee to um, hurt more. Let me take an iron to this real quick. that I have to wear a brace anytime I do anything, stand on for long periods or exercise. Like I was doing two and a half miles around my neighborhood, um, like three times a week. And then I got off of that routine for a little bit. And then I thought, well, I'm going to ease my way back in. And I started doing that, um, walk aerobics that you can do inside your house. 
with Le Leslie Sansom. You know, uh, let's see. She has several walk videos on YouTube. And that was the last thing I did. I did a 30 minute walk, fast walk. And that's when my leg really started hurting recently. So I think I pulled a muscle. So now I'm icing it and elevating it, except for right now. <laughs> and wearing this support sock things. I'm telling you, as my dad says, getting old is not for wimps. I appreciate y'all hanging with me. Let's see. I want my zipper going to the left. So I'll put it that way. My thread's about to come out again. The uh, Juki cuts it pretty close. Am I already at the end of this tape? I am. I'm just going to put it in the center for one side. This is what they call a Crafter Square double side tape from the $1.25 store. Not a dollar anymore. Our governor has suspended the gas tax, and so our gas was cheap. Well, cheap compared to what it's been. It was two fifty two, dollars and then it ended on December 1st, so it went up to $3.19. And I got gas today. It dropped a dime. It was three oh nine, but still. Oh, I missed the dollar seventy nine days. Actually, when I was learning to drive, it was ninety nine cents. I sound so old, don't I? <laughs> I can remember getting it for ninety nine cents, and I was so excited. Okay, put the zipper on. Let's do the bottom first, since I have longer tape there. This waterproof canvas I got at the store in Stone Mountain, Georgia. Um, I'd been told about it before, and the area to me is not really, uh, didn't feel that safe. Let me put it that way. And so I never stopped. Well, on my birthday this year, that was back in March, I decided to go by myself. And man, I found this. I found, oh, I got such a deal. I came out with three bags, I mean, big, huge bags, of waterproof canvas, fabric, and, um, Vinyl, actual vinyl, for $15. When I got up to the table, I'm going to change my thread on this. When I got up to the table, the checkout counter, where I got most of my fabric, it was buy one, get two free. So you get a piece of fabric, and a lot, most I got was either two yards of each fabric. It's mostly two yards. It's already pre-cut or whatever, and they just throw it on this table, and you pick through it. Buy one, get two free, and I'm like, okay, well, I'm coming back. So I went back to, don't check me out yet, I'm going back. So I went back for more and um, got more. And so I came out with three big bags for only $15. So I'm running out of waterproof canvas. I need some more black, red. And I never know if they're going to have this. You just go and pick through. And then they have huge bolts of vinyl. A lot of times it'll be at $10. I mean, I'm talking the roll is long. It's not just not your 12 inch or 18 inch. It's, it's a long piece. And they're usually $10 a roll. 
a lot. Sometimes they put it at buy one, get one free, or buy one, get two free of those big rolls. And you can find vinyl, fabric. So it's time for me to go back and get some more. I was, uh, I told myself over the summer that I wasn't going to purchase anything, fabric or anything, unless it was uh, I don't, making purses unless I needed hardware. I would buy hardware, but I wouldn't buy anything else. Um, I'm going to turn it to a three. And so I didn't buy anything over the summer, even zippers. I didn't buy anything. And so now I've been buying. My husband's in shock. <laughs> I'm like, honey, I didn't buy all summer long. back on that because the zipper is right at the edge. Let me go back one more. I'm going to come back here and do the very edge because my zipper is really close right there. I don't want to, I may have to move in a little bit more. I made the hole a little bit too big. It's all good though. This one really is at the edge. So I'm gonna do the very edge and then kind of go in a little bit. back here a little bit. Now I'm going to go over this a little bit. Let me make sure I caught my zipper. I got to do that one again. I made my opening a little bit too long. And this is what happens when you walk into bubble gum. Or try and go live and sew. I just need lots of practice on this. Okay, there's my zipper pocket on that. No, it's not completed, but we gotta get the other piece connected. Where did my scissors go? There they are. Okay, so now we're gonna take our other piece. Don't know how to do this. Right sides together and attach it. So, when my daughter's window was shattered, it was the night of the SEC championship with Georgia and Alabama. And so, we live in Georgia. So, you know, most people are rooting for Georgia. And, you know, Georgia did not do well. So, Lydia, my daughter, thinks that these guys, she saw these guys on the balcony, and they got upset and started throwing stuff and hit the back of her car windshield. But also that day she got her oil check, her oil changed. And I'm thinking maybe the guy at the oil place um, laid a wrench or whatever on it and, let, and cracked it, but then later on it just shattered it. I don't know. Those are just theories of mine, theories, theories. So we're gonna leave the bottom open. So we're gonna close the sides. I'm just going to leave this color in. Let's see. How do I want to do this? Um, I'm just going to do it this way. I'm just thinking how, you know, you come down and go over a little bit to make it easier when you turn. That's what I've been thinking. But I'm just going to set it down. iron this. It got really wrinkled. Okay, 
had to put more pressure on my presser foot because I felt like I was pushing it. Okay. That now is our zipper pocket. Done. Next on the agenda is our darts. Okay, so I gotta put the darts on all the main pieces. Oh, you know what I forgot to do? I forgot to sew the back pieces on. Whoopsie. So let's do that. When you do the front, you do the back. Makes sense to me, but I just forgot because the instructions, when you're glancing through them, you don't say, see the do the back too. I have a quilt, a king size quilt top I started. Goodness, is it going on two years? Ugh. It's the something star. It starts with a C. And I've got the top, all the star stuff, the square's done, but now I need to add borders to make it longer. I'm gonna switch my thread. And so I've been doing that a little bit and I really wanted to get it done last summer so I could use it on my bed for the summer because during the winter I use a down comforter and I didn't get it done. And I'm sewing that on my little Singer 99. It's a fast little bugger. But you know, you have to remember how it works. So you sew on this and then you sew on my you switch machines, you're like, okay, how does this work? And my brain is not what it used to be. Okay, let's sew this down. I'm going to try continue using this foot. I definitely recommend doing the foam at three quarters smaller than the original size. I did just half an inch and it still kind of pushes me over when I'm sewing it. Let's see if it'll do it without me having to switch to the Teflon foot. I'm going to lighten the pressure on the presser foot. Turn it to a three and a half. Let's see how it looks. It's sticking. Let's see if I can do it some more. Yeah. I have to switch, see what it does. Certain vinyl, I think with the foam too, it makes it stick more. So let me change my feet. Y'all are still hanging with me, I appreciate it. Oh, you haven't used your pressure foot button? This right here you've never used? I use it all the time to lighten or to, uh, to increase and decrease. All the time. I don't know if this has happened to you, Carmen, but also this little knob right here came off one day and it's a common thing. And I'm like, well, how do I put it back on? You just screw it back on. Um, and I didn't screw it all the way back. I just did, you keep it up front, more towards the front. I think that's why it comes off. But if you look at your manual, you'll see it's more towards the front, I believe. 
Have you used your walking foot on your machine? Okay, let's try this again. Yep, much better. I could probably add some pressure though. Teflon foot is definitely a need when you're doing bags and vinyl or leather. I've never tried sewing leather yet. Okay, much better, much better. Now I'll do the other side. So what I was saying about the um, the Zayas by Toby Stylitz, pretty bags. I really like them. But it's all the glue, and then you have to wait for the glue to dry. And then when you sew it together, at least on my Juki, I don't think that my HD could handle it. But when you sew it together, because of the glue, it makes it stiff, and it's very hard to sew through. So I did two of those bags and I got one still cut out and I'm like, I need a break. So a friend called and said she wants to get this bag for her mom for Christmas, the um, everyday tote. So I sewed her up the everyday tote. And it was like, it's so enjoyable. You know how you do Bags are just like, ugh, a lot of work. You like the bag, but it's a lot of work. You just you gotta get a brain break. Okay, now we're gonna top stitch. I do my seam allowance towards the outside. Three and a half. My Juki. Carmen, when I do four, my stitches don't look as nice. Um, when I do that on top stitching, number four length. And if I go too fast, like I am now, it doesn't look as good. I gotta slow it down. I'm not worried about them being uneven. I'm just going to trim that off and make them even later. So now you take this little cutout that she gives you. And I might go ahead and trim them because I got to do the little thing. So let me trim them real quick. So, when we have company, I have to clear off the bed. <laughs> so the company can have somewhere to sleep. Oh, I think my rotary cutter dropped on the floor. Okay, there's one. I'm going to do 
the top of the top and is it two? I'm going to go ahead and even that out. So that will be done. I think this one's pretty even. Maybe just a tad. Come back, come back. Whoops. I keep hitting my knee lifter. I got this table. This is how cheap I am. I got it off Facebook Marketplace for free. It was a porch pickup. So I said, let's go get it. But it was too short, so my husband put two um, boards down to make it higher for me. So now we're going to draw our little um, pleats. And I'm going to use my friction pen. Actually, I need to do it on the other side. What was I thinking? Just flip it over. Mark all your pieces, your main pieces and your um, lining pieces. And I'm going to put a zipper in this one. I, um, I didn't do that right. A, what do they call it? Drop-in zipper? I don't remember what the name of it is they call it. I cut all my patterns out on cardstock, and so they last longer. Now let me do my lining. Oh, I think I made a, um, a cutout for, yeah I did, for slip pocket. So now I gotta do the slip pocket on the other side. I don't think it has a slip pocket, let me see. I just like both. I like a zipper pocket and a slip pocket. Let's see if it calls for a slip pocket. Nope. Just a zipper. So let me mark all these. It was supposed to rain all day Saturday while we were um, doing this walking house tour. And the houses were not close together. Um, so it was, it was a hike. Oops, I think I supposed to go on this side. Let me double check that. Yep, wrong side. pieces again. I keep doing it on the wrong side. This bag seems huge when you're putting it together. It's a good size tote. It's a great for a um, carry-on bag. When you're flying. Okay, I think that's all of them. But before I do that, I'm going to do my slip pocket on this one. 
Let's see, did I not cut two of these? I think I won. I don't think I cut two of these. That's not gonna be a very deep pocket if I do it like that. What do I want to do? Do I want to do this or not, since I did that? If I do it like that, it's gonna be, I'm just gonna do it like this. It'll just be one big slip pocket. So I'm just gonna sew right sides together and leave an opening to turn. back to my two and a half. I got crooked. And go down a little bit further. Probably should have use clips because it's getting crooked now, but I'll just trim it off. I don't sweat the stuff like I used to when I first started sewing bags. Because either you throw it away or you just make a new creation on your mistakes. It's amazing what um, rivets can do. Okay, turn it right side out. Whoops. So my next one is gonna be the Swoon Nora Doctor Bag that I've been wanting to do for a long, long time. And I've been thinking it through, and I think my key is going to be, um, my daughter's getting me a text. If she's on here, I'm like, you have to talk to me later for that. But, um, is doing the foam a half inch, more than a half inch, I think an inch, out of the seam allowance. So when you sew it together, because the way it's put together for a domestic machine, you would have to do that in order to top stitch the outer sides. I'm gonna see how it works. Maybe I'll do that on a video. Okay. Carmen, have you sewed the um, Pelican Tote? This is my um, knitting needle. I do a little bit of knitting, a little bit of cross, not cross stitch, I used to do cross stitch, of um, crochet, usually during the winter is when I do those things. Let me stick this out a little more. Okay, let me get this a press. I love my clapper. Do y'all have a clapper? I got another text. These people are texting me. No, not yet. Oh, well, that's a great tote. A lot of people that I've sewn back, sold bags to, they love big totes. One of the bags I, um, I want to change. It's handmade. Is that, is that the name of her? Hills Handmade, but it was her, her gigantic tote. I can't remember the name of it. 
Bill's handmade, the Danbury tote, the Danbury. And um, I, she wanted a laptop bag, but she wanted more like a tote and not a flat bag. So I had to create uh, the laptop uh, padded bag on the inside. That was very difficult for me. But she seems to like it. And it was patent leather. So patent leather is very hard to sew on. And it sticks to your machine. Mm -hmm. And so what I do is I put down on this part, I put down Teflon sheet. You know, you, get, you can get Teflon sheets from Amazon. And I just tape it down. And... And it, it helps it glide. And you definitely need a Teflon foot with that, with patent leather. I sewed a, oh, I need to change the back too. I sewed a Lola for myself. I enlarged the Lola, because I, I love the Lola, but I enlarge it, I like it a little bit bigger. And the patent leather purse it was really pretty. But I put my Teflon sheet down here and use my Teflon foot. My dog has come in and he wants to go outside. No coop. Come here, show people. Come here. Come here. Let y'all see my cooper. Come here, buddy. Come here. Come on further so they can see you. He's a lab mix and he's gone blind in one eye. I don't think you can see him. Come here, buddy. Come here. Come on. Oh, well. I tried. I was out the air. Okay. I'll be with you in a minute, Coop. Go on. Go, bud. So we went, he went out, he went blind both in both eyes, and the vet put him on steroids, and so now we're easing him off steroids. He got one vision back in one eye, got vision back in one eye, but um, he doesn't seem to be, doesn't seem to be bothering him. I noticed he was tripping down the steps, and I'm like, what in the world, are your nails too long? And, and um, then I realized he couldn't see. Okay, so now I'm going to put this about two inches down. Oh, maybe three inches down. I'm going to do three inches down. Where's my other ruler? Okay, where'd it go? I'll just use this one. Oh, it's way over there. This is my big one. Coop, you gotta wait, buddy. So I'm just making a mark the one I left with. So my cutting table is actually a Kenmore, old Kenmore. Um, I'm gonna top stitch this, that's what I'm gonna do first. Sewing machine, and I've just left the Kenmore down on the top of it up. And I got it at a thrift store for 10 bucks. And that's my cutting table, the top of that. When my daughter moves out again, my youngest has temporarily moved back in. She was working in South Carolina and she got a better job in Georgia. And so when she moves out, she just started, I don't think it's been a month. Has it been a month? It may have been a month, maybe three weeks. And so she, the girl, there's a girl she met at her work that they're get, they're become best buddies and um, they're trying to work it out to live together. But this girl, other girl already has a roommate and she was going to move out, but she's decided she's not going to now. So, but they're still hoping and praying that she moves out. Okay, sewing the slip pocket on. Keep 
keeping it lined up. like I'm going to be finishing this on the live. I have to leave around five to go get Lydia. Let me give this a press. do our um, darts. So what you can do, if you're a quilter, you know this, or a sewer, not necessarily a quilter, a sewer, if you've sewn garments before. I pinch mine at the tip of the triangle, the tip of the triangle, and I pinch it there, and then I try and line up the um, lines the best I can on the side, but if not, I stick a needle through this line and make sure it hits that line. And that helps me keep them lined up. So I will put a little needle here and sew these together. Two and a half. And I can pull my needle out. I'll do the next one. You're gonna you're gonna trim it down, but I'm not gonna do that yet. So you pinch the top and try and line them up, and then you stick your needle through one side and make sure it hits the other side line. I'm a little off here. Okay, let me do this again. Just a little off. I'm not gonna worry about it. That's how we do darts with uh, clothing. If y'all have ever seen clothing, I'm sure y'all have. But when you do the darts for clothing, you don't, you just sew off the end and then you tie them. You don't back stitch at the end, you tie a knot. So it doesn't, Crinkle. Okay, let me trim these off. My dog is bothering me. He wants to go outside. So there's our darts. On that one, and then you just do all the darts for the lining and the main fabric. So my oldest daughter, um, our first grandbaby, her birthday is December 27th. And Abigail, my oldest, is pregnant again. And she is due next year, they'll be, I think they'll be 15 months apart. And she's like, I'm so tired because Eloise is into everything. And she's pulling up and walking around. And she lets go and raises her hand. So she's going to be walking without um, clinging to anything pretty soon. But I said, it'll be hard now, but they'll be best buddies. And you'll be grateful because they'll have a playmate. Okay, moving right along. Trim these. Tori was seems legit, which I know I'm sure y'all know. 
um, she's got a good tutorial on how to add the zipper to this pattern. I'm just getting my marks off of there so they don't show through. And now we do it for the main fabric. This is the one that's a little tricky because it's got the foam and the foam doesn't wants to fight you. Cooper, honey, you're gonna have to wait. Let's see if I got it close. Yep, okay. So I'm gonna clip these. I'm gonna go ahead and do this side. I sewed clothes for my kids when they were young, mainly like Easter dresses and jumpers, little jumper dresses. And now I need to sew more for my granddaughter. I've sewn some um, leggings for her and um, Little bummies, they call them bummies. I've never heard of them, but they're little skorts. And I said that for I need to sew more. I'm gonna go look. She wants me to sew her um, some pajamas, Christmas pajamas. So I gotta go look for some fabric at Joanne's. And then I found this girl, I like her. Um, her patterns on Etsy. I think her site's called Peanuts. And um, I really like her patterns. I'm trying to think, is there anything else? I said, oh, I did a shirt. I bought these shirts, real cute um, onesies with the ruffle sleeves and ruffle collars um, for Eloise. And I did HTV vinyl. I did red leggings. I made red leggings and then I did a red bow with um, heat transfer vinyl and fused that on there. And it's a cute little outfit. I'm just double checking to make sure I'm on target here. And do the other side. Have y'all got your Christmas shopping done? I got a couple of lines here. Pick a line, pick a line. Got to go a little bit better here. I was telling Gail at the beginning, at 2 o'clock this morning I woke up, so I ordered from ordered my kids, the rest of my kids' gifts. The great about, thing about having adult children is they make Amazon wish lists and you just go boom, boom, boom and order from their wish list so you get what they want. The only sad thing, oops, I didn't do this side. The only sad thing is nothing's a surprise. I like seeing surprise. They just know what they're getting because they can go on Amazon and see. I got the darts done. I 
How are we doing on time? How long have I been on? What does it say? An hour and two minutes, is that it? That's not too bad. Okay. Next, we're gonna put it together. I need to add the straps. Darts, darts. I'm not, oh, I need to add the zipper. Now I gotta remember how to do this. Okay. Let me see. I can tell you the measurements and all that is zipper because it's not in the pattern. And I did not cut it. Oh, shoot. Normally what you do is you take the pattern. I'm trying to remember. Let me look at my notes. This will, I'm probably going to have to go after this. But you cut out a normal size pattern, put it together, and you do a strip. You cut off this two inches, I believe. Let me see what my pattern says. What notes I made. I didn't put how much. It's two inches or three inches. So I'm going to have to look on that again. Okay, ladies, thanks for joining me. I'm sorry that I don't get to complete it. Yeah, I'm such a space case with this, but I need to look and see. You cut two strips, and one, there's strips for three inches, but you take off two inches on your, on your main fabric and your lining. And so you need to cut two lining strips of three inches and two lining strips of this, of your main fabric. Not lining strips, but main fabric. And then you cut your zipper. I think she does the zipper 14 inches long. And then you attach it, and then you put, add it to your bag. It's real simple. If you go to Tori with Seems Legit, she shows you on, and just fast forward to the zipper part, and she shows you how to do it. Well, thanks for joining me on my first live. I hope you'll have a great day. See you later. Now I gotta figure out how to end it.